Hello everyone and welcome to my next reaction to Classic Who. So I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm a bit terrified. Okay? In the first two parts of this story, there was a snake tattoo. And I feel like that snake tattoo that is moseying on to people's arms is going to mosey on and become a reality. Like a, an actual snake. And I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous about it. And I'm, you know, my heart's racing a little bit going into this reaction. And, you know, I already found um, certain parts of the first two parts of this story terrifying enough. I don't need a snake on top of that, okay? So let's keep our fingers crossed that the snake tattoo will remain a snake tattoo. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, is that... Oh, oh. Well, we've established one thing. The kinder have a sense of humor. Oh! The power's failing. Oh! I think it's safe to assume we all three had the same experience. Somehow the box linked us up with the kinder. We were seeing the world through their eyes. It certainly affected Sanders. Yeah. Yes. It's shock. He'll be all right. Come on. You're all right. This is no planet of primitives. And the answer's out there. Hmm. In the forest. Come on. Yeah, I was hoping we would find out more about... Kinda. What's about Andrew? He's very resourceful. Quickly! Oh my! <laughs> oh goodness. Which way? Has anyone ever told you you ask a lot of questions? I'm sure I'm a scientist. Yes, I'm. Well. <laughs> uh, so, where do we go from here? Tell you what, toss for it. Heads this way, tails that. Heads. Tails. <laughs> well. I found Mr. Decision Sanders. Decision was made. The others. I was thinking, sir, if I could have your permission, that I could go and look for them. Not outside. No, but if you thought that I was... It's all in here, you know. Oh. Everything. Phase one, the preparation, priming, and location of explosive devices. Sufficient to render the dome and its contents to their base chemical constituents. Phase two. But all well, don't you see? Well, then we'll be safe. Forever and ever. Outside, I'll never get in. Don't you see? Okay. There's something following us. Nonsense. There's something following us. Source of conflict through mockery and ridicule, don't you? Your turn. Oh! Uh, well, I don't really see what I could, uh... Wait a minute. Oh, stop. <laughs> Prophecy? Prophecy teaches 
that at the beginnings of things, when the not we are come, a man will arise from among we who has the gift of voice and so must be obeyed. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't know that that's how... I have spoken. The wise woman told me to bring the not we to her cave. This I must do quickly. Follow me. <laughs> Gladly. Yeah, that should do it. You sure? Yes. You see, the master detonator here triggers six explosive charges based in a pattern of two overlapping equilateral triangles on the dome wall. That was a surprise, am I? Yeah. Surprise who? Anybody. Anything at any time tries to get in here and boom, we blow ourselves to bits. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect difference. Boom. <laughs> of course, the uh, Okay. I wish to announce phase 5B, defense of the dome, now complete. Now we can relax. Yeah. Enjoy ourselves. I'm sure Andrew yeah, feels good. very relaxed. <laughs> she was seen at the place of great dreaming. What is that from? We'll take you there later. Come on. I don't know if it's great dreaming. Or like fucking scary dreaming. <laughs> now this person. How many brothers do not we have? Well, on the whole, one. Only one? Yes. That's very sad. So many <laughs> it's very sad. It isn't a game, it's real, with measuring and everything. No! Tell him! Well, if he doesn't want to. Who's in charge here? You are, of course. Unfortunately, <laughs> you! No, 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 no. Okay, put I'll... your hand down. You will not? I'd like to. I still give the orders. Oh, yes, of course. You are welcome. Thank you. Oh. There is another. What other? Oh no. A man. He was with her. Impossible. Was he present when you opened the box? Yes. Most unlikely. What's he babbling about? No male can open the box of Jana without being driven out of his mind. It's well known. Is he an idiot? Are you an idiot? Well, I suppose I must be. I have been called one. Keep but... silent, idiot. My word. Every detail must be correct. Oh, of course. Twelve. What are you gay? Uh, it's you're so busy, I thought I might go for a stroll. You first asked permission. Sorry. May I? No. You made me angry. Paris is found voice. This guy is so exhausting. Soon, it is all beginning again. What is? What is? What is history as you male fool? History. All right. The great wheel will begin to roll downhill, gathering speed through the centuries, crushing everything in its path once again. Until you must show you. that is why you have been brought here. Then perhaps when you understand, you will go away and leave us in peace. You said once again. Of course. Wheel turns, civilizations arise, wheel turns, civilizations fall. And I suppose this happens many times. Of course. Wherever the wheel turns, there is suffering, delusion, and death. That much should be clear, even to an idiot. Now stop babbling and get ready. Wow. Old woman! Oh no. Oh no. Quickly, child, help me, he must not interfere. You, not we, woman. Stay where you are, with the idiot. <laughs> the doctor was like, all right. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, that was very good. What do you think, Adric? Oh. I'll go after her. Wait, I'm in charge here, old man. I'll decide what's to be done. Yes. Why can't we all play the game? What do you want? Listen to me, old woman. Where are you, child? Please! <laughs> what are you going to do? We shall destroy the dome. And not we must be killed. It doesn't end there. That is how it all begins again, with a killing. Is that what you all want? <laughs> Who are you? I am Aris. He who speaks. No. No, you are not. Silence. Mm -hmm. The dome. 
He's got a snake tattoo and therefore cannot be trusted. <laughs> oh no. The sign of the snake. Yes, that's right. It is the mark of the Mara, the evil one. Doctor, I really think. What do you know of the Mara? It is the Mara who now turned the wheel. No. It is the Mara who danced to the music of our despair. No, 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 no. Our suffering is the Mara's delight. Our madness, the Mara's meat and drink. And now he has returned. Doctor! Oh no. I too have heard the legend of the Mara. I know. I must show you. You cannot help without understanding. Patrick, you really must try not to antagonize Mr. Hindle. I'm sorry. Well, play along with him, son. He means well. Does he? Oh, yes, of course he does. Well, we all do, don't we, under oh, that all? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look! Tell me it's a trick. Oh, my goodness. Doctor, look! The cave panel has disappeared. Huh. What's going on? You heard Panna. This is the beginning and the end. Let us go and help him. We can't. How we do anything? This story is so bizarre, and I love it. <laughs> Mara within him. Mm -hmm. The Mara caused all that to happen. In a manner of speaking. Yeah. Doctor! What? I think she's dead! Whoa! What? Okay. Hannah's dead. Idiot. Don't you know anything? Oh! Of course, I'm not dead. Oh! Oh! We are one. So, when Panna died, her knowledge and experience were passed over to you. But how? It is our way. Are the people ready yet, Herman? Well, some of them. Oh, good. You see. Oh, yes, they're very good. Oh, do you think so? What is going Soon on? It'll be finished. And then, well, we live forever and ever, won't we? Look, I'm going anyway. This Do you think man. Going? I, I've done my best for them, haven't I? Well, of course you have, son. He has, hasn't he? I have, haven't I? Oh. My very best ever. He needs a sedative and a swift hit to the head. <laughs> oh, he's scaring me. Function of the chimes? We use them in the dreamings. The wind blows and we share. Share? Share what? Minds? Of course. Or what would happen if one person dreamt her alone? It is forbidden. There are powers waiting to be born. Powers of great evil. Oh. No. danger in dreaming alone. I had the strangest dream. Dream? Yes. What dream? Dreams are private. Now come on, Tegan, you must tell me. <laughs> Dreams You've are You've been asleep private. for nearly two days. What? What's going on? Please, there's no time. You must tell me about the dream. It's very important. Listen to me. Now we have a guardian, just as the knot we have. The knot we must be driven out and the dome destroyed. <laughs> I mean, you might just need to wait a little bit for the dome to be destroyed. <laughs> well, you just think, I was back here only... And you went yourself. That's right. There was this man coming, an unhappy man, a native. Harris. And, and that's all. Don't be silly, Tegan. It can't have been. Come on, what did you do? Well, if you must know, I climbed a tree and dropped apples on his head. <laughs> Is 
this guy doing like a dance off? Because I kind of live for that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! It operates directly from your brain waves, do you understand? Oh, that's good. Okay, yeah. Now listen, you have nothing to fear, just to open the machine, you must come out. There you go, oh. Are you alright? I'm fine. Hindle has it wired for total destruction. The state he's in, he could do anything. Look after it. Oh. Yeah, but you're safe now. I'm safe. What about the kinder I wounded? Oh. He's gone. Oh, boy. Hello. Where's Hindle? We've been having fun. Where is he? Well, I'm sure he's around somewhere, if you want to look. I... Oh! Okay. Spoiled it. I wasn't ready. Okay. He would do it. Don't doubt that for a moment. Hindle is completely mad. Yes, I'm sure. He would. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Sorry. We must do something. Yes, but fiddling with that won't help. Oh, I just feel so useless. So do I. There's oh. nothing we can do except wait. Tell me about the city. Oh, do you like it? Never been oh. to the city before. It's very good. Yes, let's... What's that? Oh, that's my secret. Distract you know. him for a bit. I'm the government as well, you know. Doctor. And the security arrangements? Security effectiveness 100%. 1,000%. 1 billion, trillion, trillion percent. Okay. I'd rather know how you control the kinder. Oh, that's very simple. With this. They're very primitive, you know. They think I've captured their souls. Mirrors. It's very clever. I, I think, think so. Yeah. I mean, it seemed like it had something to do with the mirror. Oh! It's easily mended. A drop of glue. Oh, no. Don't be silly. Oh, no. You can't mend people, can you? You can't mend people! Okay. Okay. Oh! Mirror smash. Show me. You've seen it already. Give it to me. I want to see it. Well, you can promise not to open it. I can blow up the world after, can't I? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Are you frightened of me? Terrified. Good. What's in it? Don't open it. Why not? You promised. Who cares? There's nothing in it! There's nothing in it. Okay. What's happening? I don't know. The doctor's failed. Hindle's pressed the button. Will you shut up? Of course, it's all your fault. What? Well, of course it is. What are you talking about? Well, if you hadn't fallen asleep and had that stupid dream... I was possessed! My mind was taken over by the Mara! How was that my fault? It found a weakness and it used it. What's that supposed to mean? Well, it would seem to prove that some of us have more control over our minds than others. Oh, like you, I suppose, out there in that machine. That was different. If you must know, I was just getting the hang of that thing when the doctor interfered. When I what? Doctor. The explosives. Deactivated. All quite harmless now. Okay, good. First we must deal with the Mara. Where's Alice? Well, he's escaped. Escaped? He was wounded, though. Well, we must find him quickly before he's destroyed by the Mara within him. And how will you deal with the Mara? I don't know yet. How did Hindle control his hostages? What? Oh, the mirror. They thought he'd captured them. Ah. What? I don't suppose you come across any large mirrors in your wanderings about the dome. Silly question, really. They aren't evil. Ah, Hindle captured their innocence. The Mara will rebel. They cannot face themselves. Don't you see? Ooh. Okay. I'm getting a little nervous, guys. Okay. No Mara can bear the sight of its own reflection. It must recoil from itself. Understandably, don't you think, given its nature? Yeah. <sighs> 
We thought you'd got lost. Who are you? I'm called the Doctor. Why do you involve yourself? Because I share the Kinder's aim where you're concerned. It is the voice of Amara in the body of Aris. The snake on your arm, the symbol of your power, confirms it. Then take care that that power doesn't enter you. Woo! Oh, you're too late. No! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, but like, stay as a tattoo. Stay as, and just like, leave. But not like... Clear the moment the snake leaves his arm. Ah! What do you mean, leave? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 I don't like it. It's detaching itself. What? It's leaving Aris. It has no further use for you. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, God. It's gone. Oh, what a wonderful day. Why do such things exist? Who can tell? Mar is gone. Back to the dark places of the inside, or wherever. But not here, not anywhere here. This world is free of it. Let's all take a deep breath together. Just. And, uh... I suppose. You're not tempted by paradise. It's all right at first, but it's all a bit too green for me. Mm. Doctor! Ah, uh, yes, one moment. You don't actually go into space in that. Oh, no. That would be completely impossible, wouldn't it? Not like anyway. Well, if not ridiculous. Doctor! Oh, yes. It seems some people are getting impatient. Goodbye. Yes, sir. How are you? Fully recovered. Excellent. Ah. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, nothing much. This and that. Having fun. Can we go? I don't see why not. I think paradise is a little too green for me as well. Wow. Well, I made it through the snake story. I do believe that this might be the story that you guys were referring to. Kind of just over the years, whenever I had sort of um, freak outs about snakes, uh, particularly uh, at the beginning of season nine of New Who, uh, and there was there was some snaky stuff that I really didn't appreciate, uh, in, in all honesty. Uh, but I believe that there's been, you know, some of you were warning me that there was a snake story in Classic Who. Some of you were uh, really looking forward to my reaction because, listen, guys, I know uh, it is, uh, I guess, so irrational phobia in, you know, some ways and all of that. Uh, but and I, it's OK if you get enjoyment of my screams of snakes um <laughs> or having to do with snakes um you know it wasn't as bad honestly the worst part of that scene and you know obviously I'm prepping myself because I had a feeling that the snake was eventually going to you know not be a tattoo anymore and manifest in real life and I genuinely it was the start of the scene that was honestly more terrifying to me because it I think you know the shot was far enough away that it, it looked a bit like an actual snake and then it getting bigger. I didn't like that at all. Um, 
And I, I don't really want to get into exactly why I have a fear of snakes and, and all of that. Um, I have in other videos and, and, and all of that. But as soon as it got, like, bigger, bigger, I, I was feeling okay because it looked very... <clears throat> fake. <laughs> I don't mean to knock on the uh, classic who, the special effects department or anything like that. Um, but you know what I mean, you know, sometimes it just it, it didn't look very real when it got bigger. And I was still feeling it a little bit like I was still a little unsettled and I didn't like it by any means. Um, but I was okay. <laughs> As the scene went on but it, it's interesting because I did have that thought in my mind because I, I've obviously heard that there is a story that has to do with a snake um, and I, I I genuinely was curious as to you know will it actually get to me because sometimes you know and I think it's part of the charm of, you know, the the classic Doctor Who stories and all of that, that, you know, sometimes the effects are just, they're not really affecting, you know what I mean? But in this story, I was actually pretty nervous about it because, especially the dream sequence, I feel like in the, the first two parts of this story was executed so well that I was like, oh no. <laughs> I was like, if this snake actually you know, shows up, and not as a tattoo, and as a snake, I might be in trouble. Um, but I was, uh, in the beginning, it was a bit terrifying, but I was okay. Definitely not the worst snake reaction I've had um, on my channel. There's two that come to mind that I was just absolutely, like, crawling out of my skin. Um, and neither were in Doctor Who reactions, so, you know. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> whoo, I made it. I'm so happy. Okay. Otherwise, I really enjoyed this story. I didn't love anticipating that a snake was going to possibly pop up whenever. Um, but genuinely, we got through a good portion of this story without, you know, like the snake actually coming to life, so to speak. Uh, and I thought it was really interesting, a bit bizarre, as I've said. There, a lot of the sequences were really just odd and trippy, and I really enjoyed that part of this. I, I do like the idea of you know there being this 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 terrifying dream that you just don't know how to escape. You know, and Tegan eventually letting the Mara in, and and the, what the I I loved the solution at the end that had to do with like the reflections and evil facing itself and all of that. Um, I also liked a lot of the themes throughout this story when it came to. Um, paranoia leading to severe mental instability and kind of taking obviously this this story kind of really brought it to the extremes in in some ways um you know particularly with this this one character that that really went completely mad for lack of a better term um but there was parts of you know when he was talking about Obviously, I don't want him to blow everything up and all of that, but there were parts where I was just feeling really bad for for him because and I guess that means kudos to the actor because I feel like he just genuinely was showcasing a very scared um, mentally unstable individual masking it with this almost playful exterior and all of that. Like, I genuinely really thought that um, his whole arc, as as I've said, unhinged as it was, was executed very well. Um, and I, I don't know if that's a weird thing to say or not, but I, I genuinely... Um, like, that was scary. 
I feel like this story had a lot of really terrifying elements to it, and I'm not even talking about the fact that it features my greatest fear. You know, the the not being able to wake up from a dream and the only way to get out of the darkness of that dream is to let this evil being in, so to speak. And that was terrifying. The, the mental stability of these people going through all of this and, and the, the downward spiral of that all, that was terrifying to watch. You know, um, and uh, Adric was scared, and and I was feeling bad for him in the um, when when he was kind of stuck with these people, and he was just trying to get out. You know, there there was a lot of aspects to this story that I felt were were pretty terrifying, and you know, obviously I have I have a thing <laughs> with snakes, so I don't love that part either. But it really did invoke some terror in me and I, I, I'm I weird and I appreciate when, um, you know, writing or TV shows or whatever are, are able to do that. I've always said this, you know, a very well written horror movie or horror TV show or media of any kind, I, I feel like it's so impressive because if it actually manages to scare you, in, in any sort of way. It, it, I just find that to be a difficult thing to do and sometimes really well done horror movies don't get the, the praise that they deserve because you know it's just a genre that I feel like is not super highly regarded sometimes. I don't know. That, that's just my opinion on that. Anyway, not to go on that tangent, but I, I enjoyed this story. I thought it was um, different. I, I feel like the stories so far for The Fifth Doctor have been pretty unique and I'm really excited to get into the next one. I'm really loving uh, this this era so far in Doctor Who, even if a snake showed up. <laughs> but I did it! I made it through and um, I'm sorry if you wanted a more terrified reaction out of me from the snake. You got a little bit of it, but once it, once it got bigger, I was like, nah, I think I'm okay. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you were here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.